guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter. So you're probably wondering like what in the world is going on here on my desk. I promised you guys last week that I would do a video about glue and here we are. These are all the glues that I use in my paper crafting and um, just about almost anywhere because some of these glues can be used in different applications. So I made curtains and I use Fabri-Tac or Fabri-Fix um, and I believe that's almost one and the same type of glue. Both of those are the same. Hang on, let me adjust you just a little bit. Okay, yeah, so I believe those are just about almost the same type of glue, Fabri-Tac Fabri and Fabri-Fix. Um, same consistency, same maker, and um, yeah, so anyway, let me just start by saying I do not use all of these glues at once. I use them in different scenarios based on what it is that I am working on. So yes, again, I made curtains that I didn't feel like hemming with the sewing machine, so I used a silicone-based um, glue that is um, clearly for both fabric and paper. But yes, here in the craft room, I will use maybe one of these glues, depending on the situation. Let's just begin with, um, let's just begin with our liquid glues, okay? For the most part, again, we talked about silicone glues being um, quick drying or, well, I won't even say that. Um, they are, uh, silicone to begin with so they're clear for the most part and they will bond certain types of um, uh, materials together so let's look at Fabri-Tac which I believe is also the same as Fabri-Fix the price is about the same and here are the things that um, Fabri-Tac is a permanent fabric uh, adhesive so it will definitely glue fabric to fabric but it also glues lace glass leather wood and trims um, it grabs fast and it dries clear so that's what I wanted to say earlier that once you uh, put it to whatever surface you want to it will start that that adhesive process and it grabs really quickly but it will dry clear it's acid free and it's washable so that means whatever you put on uh, whatever you put Fabri-Tac onto it's washable let's say clothing for example because they promote uh, fabric um, it's a permanent fabric adhesive on this one right it's made by the company Beacon and Beacon makes several glues and I have a couple of them here um, and it's highly flammable so this right here has a very a very um, pungent smell to it I know I wish I had smell a vision Oh yeah, it smells like a uh, nail polish remover, all right? And we all know nail polish remover is completely flammable. Um, it says it contains acetone, so there you go. That's what that's what nail polish remover is made with. It's um, liquid and vapors may ignite. So leaving this out, um, using this indoors and not having a really good ventilated room, um, it can... Uh, cause a fire <laughs> not not on its own but it can ignite in a hot situation so you want to really be careful when using Fabrifix, Fabri-Tac um, and Beacon glue such as this. Beacon also makes a glue called 3-in-1 I don't have that I've never actually had any of that it's kind of um, similar to this it's a clear silicone glue and I believe I don't know. I've never seen it. I've only seen it on YouTube. I believe it's sold in the UK and a lot of UK uh, crafting channels will talk about uh, Beacon 3-in-1. We here in the US have Fabri-Fix and Fabri-Tac and this is what it looks like. This is a very large bottle. About 8 ounces is in this bottle. This one is a 4 ounce bottle. Same thing, Fabri-Tac. Permanent fabric adhesive but it will glue fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, and paper to paper, all right? And then what I do with mine, I transfer it over into this Sugar Bell icing piping bottle. It says so right there on the side. Um, you know, it's embossed on the side here. This right here, this type of bo uh, bottle is made mostly for uh, baking, 
so like if you want to pipe something on top of a cake or a cupcake or a muffin or a pie or whatever this is what um, you know it's a piping bottle so it pipes the uh, the icing onto whatever surface whatever you're cooking right so that's what this is it's a sugar bell icing piping bottle or piping icing bottle however you say that um, beacon also makes other glues like I mentioned they have three in one um, fabric tack they have fabric fix and then they also have a uh, spray adhesive so this is a beacon uh, multi-purpose spray adhesive it works on paper wood cardboard and more it says and more right but um, it's a non-toxic -to fast holding dries clear spray adhesive I rarely use this in my paper projects I would more or less use this on maybe chip wood or if I'm uh, cricketing something uh, if I'm cutting Bossa wood or something like that or even my laser cut um, chipboard pieces This is what I would use this for because it's liquid. It's completely liquid right guys. It's um, It's a spray. So when you spray it it comes in a spray bottle when you spray it It's going to make your paper super saturated extremely wet. All right, so keep that in mind But it does work on paper. So if you're using I mean if you're making a very large um, Paper project and you want to add some spray adhesive on here, then this would be the one to use I believe it is Oh, let's see. Um, it does not say that it's toxic. So it says non-toxic actually. So let's just see what it smells like. Mm, smells like smells like Elmer's actually. <laughs> it's a it's a low a lower smell to Elmer's, but it's very liquidy. You know, it doesn't doesn't smell toxic at all. It says spray to do not spray towards face. Obviously, do not inhale mist keep out of reach of children blah 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 so yeah here's another beacon glue to consider if you're doing large paper projects it works well on paper but it also works on wood and cardboard like I said all right um, beacon also have this new glue which I've never seen before it's non-toxic uh, foam and poster board adhesive all right and it works on foam board poster cardboard and more I used this just the other day and um, found it to be um, pretty similar to Fabric Tac. It says non non toxic. So let's see what this one smells like. Yeah, it smells like nothing. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how this is working. It smells. <laughs> it smells like nothing. It says stays flexible, easy to clean up. Again, it's um, non-toxic and I wonder if it dries clear. Does not say that either. So that makes me wonder, like, is it a clear glue? Let's see. Oh, it's a milky color. It's not really clear, but it's not really like, um, like white either. So yeah. I used it the other day did not find any issues with it um, but yeah it's definitely for foam and poster board this is a new uh, rendition of this glue because I had a uh, foam and poster board adhesive from beacon and it looked just like Fabri-Tac it smelt just like Fabri-Tac it, it was questionable like I really thought it might have been just Fabri-Tac with a different label on it but uh, yeah this one works on foam foam board poster board cardboard and more all right and what I've done with this is I transferred it into this bottle right here it's hard to see but yeah I guess it is like more of a milky color than it is um, not really milky just cloudy um, color than the Fabri-Tac which is completely clear all right moving on art glitter Art glitter is one of my favorite glues. It dries super fast. It's a permanent water-based non-toxic adhesive um, and it dries acid free. So perhaps it's uh, an acid base prior to and then once it dries, 
it's acid free it does have a distinct smell um, you can tell that it's art glitter glue but it dries clear guys so I use it a lot in most of my um, paper crafts so that um, so that uh, yeah I know I know exactly it has a very distinct smell so you know that it's art glitter yeah yeah it's art glitter <laughs> like you can't mix this up with Elmer's it's definitely art glitter this is a two ounce bottle I also have a four ounce bottle and then I also have like a 16 ounce bottle somewhere that I've been using to fill this bottle which is like a little precision tip um, glue bottle and uh, yeah it just puts a very thin bead of glue all the way around whatever it is that you're working on so yeah this has a very tiny precision tip right like right there it's like the size of a, a pin so anyway there's that um, yeah so I just transferred my glue into this bottle I also found this other glue this is um, called pink man or pink pink and main um, I don't use it very often but it's craft glue and it's kind of similar to art glitter uh, I found this at the uh, what is it the Stampin Expo that I went to scrapbooking Expo that I went to in um, uh, Tucson no, was it Tucson Arizona Mesa in Mesa Arizona so this right here says easy application permanent dries clear and it's acid free don't know what it smells like let's find out yeah it's different all of these glues smell different and you know smell vision would really help in this process for me to explain these to you but this right here I've used it um, in place of art glitter and it's very similar the the, the uh, texture is almost the same the color is the same it says it dries clear so it's pretty much the same as art glitter without it being art glitter you know art glitter dries like a hot second if you put art glitter on anything it will it'll stick to it and you gotta move quick there's no wiggle room there's no um, taking it off and doing it again as you would find with the silicone glues if you start anything with art glitter you're done like just know that wherever you placed it that's where it's gonna live forever and ever the other glue that I've been using lately is my Elmer's Craft Bond, which I found is very popular with the scrapbooking, um, um, you know, type of um, paper craft as well as uh, photos. So this right here is a strong wet tack, so it gets tacky and it's it's a wet glue but it dries clear remains flexible and it has a no run formula so it won't like you know if you place it onto um, a piece of paper it won't drip or run down that paper it's a multi-purpose glue um, by Elmer's and it's called craft bond so it's safe for photos and uh, yeah that's all I know about craft bond I use it a lot on my paper crafts this right here is craft bond with a precision tip okay whoa and it's already it's all ready to go so it's basically the same thing craft bond um, it just has a very tiny precision tip and um, this is I don't know like 0.356 fluid ounces so like 10 millimeters um, sorry milliliters ten and a half and this one's four ounces so that just gives you an idea of how big these these two are um, the other glue that I'm very uh, much in favor of is Eileen's tacky glue and that looks like this all right I get this at the dollar store for believe it or not three ounces um, it's tacky glue so tacky glue is exactly what it's called it's it, the the recipes in the name <laughs> and it's a multi-purpose adhesive um, and I've moved mine into this little precision tip bottle as well it says tacky on there I know it's Eileen's and basically you can adjust whatever it is that you're working on if you're playing with paper and you put something down it's not where you wanted it to be you can pull that paper up and adjust it or slide it you know you can move it around it's a liquid glue and um, yeah it's just 
Shiitake Glue. Ultra strong, dries, clear, non-toxic. Every time I see non-toxic, I always want to smell it. Um, it's ultra resistant. And um, yeah, let's see what it smells like. Yeah, it smells like... <laughs> it smells sweet, actually. It smells, it smells pretty sweet, like candy. It's funny, I've never actually done this before, like smelled glue, but yeah, this smells like candy. Keep this out of reach of children, because it smells good. All right, another Eileen's glue is Fabric Fusion, similar to Fabri Tac, Fabri Fix. This is called Fabric Fusion. It's a permanent fabric adhesive. And I want to say it's like a clear silicon glue. It says permanent bond, dries crystal clear, and it's non-toxic. So I want to say that it doesn't smell like Fabrifix, which is highly flammable. <laughs> and this again is by Eileen's. All right, so that's what these two are made by the same company. Like I said before, I moved my tacky glue into this precision bottle here. My other um most used glue besides uh, art glitter would be PVA glue. Now PVA glue it just it's just a pH neutral balanced glue and it's for um mostly for binding books and framing um framing po pictures and you know such but I find this to be very um, good with my book binding processes and um, if I were to glue down my uh, spine into a book, if I've ever ran out of Fabri-Tac, this would be my next um, um, glue to use. It, again, it's pH neutral, so it smells like nothing. All right, I just want to confirm. Yep. It has a hint of a scent, but it basically smells like nothing. Um, it says here, ideal for book binding and paper projects. So it's right there in the title of the item. Um, professional quality archival adhesive. Dries clear and remains flexible. All right. And all I've done was move my PVA into this um, precision tip bottle. And yeah, it works. It works like it should. And now we move on to our glue sticks. And let's just start with the least. Um, this right here is nothing but a water-based glue. It's by Avery. Where is it? Avery. Avery makes uh, book labels and, you know, things that you can ran, run through your printer. It They make, um, you know, printer labels, you know, and um, tags and such. This is a water-based glue in the form of a glue stick. It says glue stick right on it. And again, it's washable and acid-free. Don't know much about it except that it works like a glue stick would work. It just does. It's nothing special. If you want to glue two pieces of paper together, here you go. That's what this does. Lately, I've been using Jot, which is another form of glue stick. Again, this is also washable, similar to the Avery, but it's acid-free and photo safe. That's what the important thing to me is because my um, Scotch Create glue stick is permanent. So this is water-based and this is permanent, right? They're both glue sticks, but this is also photo safe right and it's a multi-purpose glue just like this one and um yeah this was sent to me in a oh this one's empty <laughs> that doesn't look good here i'll show you this was sent to me by i believe it was gracie's crafty closet sent me um, a number of things and this was in it she wanted me to try this glue out and i have no complaints whatsoever from jot jot activity jot is a um it's a greenbrier company and greenbrier distributes specifically to the dollar tree all right just so you know jot is a dollar tree product and it works really well. It does not seem like it's uh, like they cheaped out on the um, the ingredients in this glue. Of course, there are no ingredients, so it's definitely um, you know kid friendly and non toxic. So here you go, photo safe. 
and here is the smaller ones I could not find these so I don't know where Gracie's crafty closet got these from but I have not been able to find the larger one and uh, 1.28 ounce um, tubes I've only been able to find the 0.32 ounce tubes which is the smaller version of any glue stick all right so and if you are unable to find any of these um, I have here Elmer's purple uh, spray adhesive which is very similar to the beacon spray adhesive they're both permanent bond um, multi-purpose dries clear but it goes on purple and if all else fails get a standard washable glue stick from Elmer's and this will work just the same these are both purple um, when you apply when you apply them and uh, it dries clear okay so that's that and last but not least I really want to tell you guys something about um, liquid stitch okay so liquid stitch similar to Fabri-Tac, Fabri-Fix, Beacon 3-in-1, Beacon Poster Board, it'll glue um, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, and paper to paper. I don't use this very often, but because I use my sewing machine a lot, um, but it's kind of the same concept. So if you have a curtain that you want to hem, but don't feel like hemming it with a sewing machine, use some liquid stitch if you have um, a skirt that you're wearing and you know the button pops off or your hem falls just grab put this in your purse this right here is a lifesaver in practical situations other than the craft room but if I ever ran out of any of these things I would definitely use liquid stitch which is very similar to Fabri-Tac or Fabri-Fix um, it says permanent fabric adhesive but I have glued fabric to paper and paper to paper with um, liquid stitch. All right, so let's see. It says dries in 30 minutes. That's probably why I don't use it very often. <laughs> so yeah, it takes a while for this to dry, but you, to dry, but you uh, must wait 24 hours before washing. So again, it's really handy on the go if you know on your clothing let's say your hem falls or you know I don't know what what else could happen um, but yeah it'll dry in 30 minutes and if you're wearing it you won't wash it anytime soon until you take it off so yeah that's pretty um, pretty good it does have a eye it says eye and mild skin ir irritant but um, I think it's non-toxic so I can't even smell it because it's in this little tiny tube but let's see yeah it I don't it doesn't smell like anything so yeah anyway it's stitchless sewing guys all right so if again if you want to stitch your paper to, to together like you know without using your sewing machine there you go and finally e6000 e6000 is um it's not like really popular in the crafting paper crafting world because it is extremely toxic it's this right here is industrial strength glue that is extremely extremely toxic flammable bad for the environment I mean it's everything it's everything that you would not want which is why I do not use it very often here in my craft room there are e6000s that are clear this one just happens to be white and you can see it's a full tube because I rarely use it I used to use it in my jewelry making um, when I used to make jewelry a lot and um, take them to craft fairs and whatnot but I have had complaints from customers saying that um, did you use e6000 on this and I would say yes because I'm an honest person I don't want anybody to be hurt over it but um, it says the vapors are harmful and right here it says possible cancer agent directly on the packaging for this so I've stopped using e6000 in my jewelry making and um, here you have that right so if all else fails you've ran out of every other glue on the planet there's this 
it's flexible it's paintable and um, it's industrial strength adhesive be very very careful if you choose to use E6000 alright that's all I got to say about that also and use this outdoors because yeah it's also flammable alright guys I think I covered every glue under the Sun except for maybe wood glue and uh, Elmer's white glue which I rarely use because you know but yeah and also Gorilla Glue I have some of that over there as well but yeah these are the majority of the glues with the exception of uh, fabric um, liquid stitch and E6000 but these are the majorities of the glues that I use here in the craft room and uh, you guys see the applications like I usually just glue paper to paper guys like that's what we do here fabric to paper and paper to fabric and vice versa and whatnot so yeah all right I think that's about it I'm gonna leave you guys right here right here so if you guys are interested in any of these glues you can drop me a comment down below I can provide you with a little bit more explanation I know PVA is going to have some questions, but again, it's just a pH neutral glue, so you can use it on just about anything. And um, yeah, just drop me a comment down below on what glues are you guys using if you're using something other than these. All right. Also, guys, check out my links in the description box and uh, just just have a crafty day go do something wonderful play with paper and glue and uh, hit this video um, the, the thumbs up button if you like the content here on this channel and hit the bell for notifications after you have subscribed and go have a crafty day guys do something wonderful stay naturally curious and I'll definitely talk to you guys in the next video I got pen marks on my hand all right bye